Hey guys, I'm checking out this buggy game that just showed up on Steam. Um, it looks really pixelated and old school. Uh, reason being is that this is like, I guess, a PS1 game. That there's a company called Console Classics. We're trying to take all the old school games and bring them back, which is really appreciated. This is the launcher. Before you uh, start playing, you get to configure it. And uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, it shows you your controls. And you don't really have to customize anything. It just kind of works right out of the box. Um, unfortunately, you can't customize. But uh, if you're... You can probably use X-Patter or something if you wanted to do any tweaking. But uh, by default, at least everything's there. Works right out, right out of the gates. There's your keyboard controls. Laptop controls, which is kind of unusual. And then I guess if you literally had a PlayStation controller, you could use it. But uh, you just click on Xbox. I'm using a wireless 360 controller for Windows. Don't have to tweak anything else. Uh, I wish there was a sensitivity option, but that's another thing altogether. Video options. Um... 1080p, it's not a really technical term, but uh, it works. Worked in Windows mode as well, or window mode as well. I find it hilarious that there's this kind of a sound option, low to highest, but whatever, at least it's something, right? And uh, then from there you just click play and away you go. 1998. This is. Uh, Vintage. Almost 20 years ago. Okay. Best times is an option. It's kind of weird. First off, uh, thankfully it works good with the controller. New game. Two player, eh? I wonder how that would work out. Super Nintendo. Hmm. Who do we pick? They're all pretty much the same. This one's got the better acceleration. Ooh, look at the weight difference, though. That's super heavy, that's super light. I think I'm gonna go with this one. X to select. Oh, this is cool. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I wish the triggers were the gas, but I can deal with it. Where are we going here? <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Is this a level select or something? Mushroom land. Let's do it. Gas. Not bad for 20 years ago, it handles better than 
a lot of games out today except uh, the tire is like six pixels high. It's pretty, pretty hard to look at, but awesome at the same time. Sorry, back here again. Um, can I exit that race? Different one? Chokey City? Let's do it. N2O, that's pretty cool. That's another game by this developer that also this console classics guy has put on Steam like last week. So it's kind of cool that this advertised in this game, which kind of leads me to believe that uh, they've actually gotten approval by the developers. There's still a little bit of a uh, possibility that this is not a legal game. Although the developers have given them the AOK, -okay. um, we're not sure how this game is running. If it's a PS1 game, it uh, might be using a PS1 emulator, which may not be approved by the PS1 emulator creators. And if there's a PS1 emulator, it usually ships with no... Oh, I always do that. It ships without a PS1 BIOS. So, in order to actually use the emulator, you need to have, you know, the software that runs a PlayStation. It's illegal without that. So, I have no idea how they got this game working if they don't have, uh, like, you can't do this without a PS1 BIOS. So, this is kind of an illegal game, but uh, they're selling it anyway, which I'm okay with. Did I win that? Or is this a different race? Select game type. Sure. What is this? Challenge one. All right. Let's do it. That's where we were. No idea what I'm doing. It seems to be. Whoa, back here again. Okay. Change it up. 
just navigating this is like a mess. Reminds me of the Windows 95 screensaver with the maze. Save room? <laughs> Do I have to park in here? Sure. Okay. That's pretty cool. little car in there. Hub 2. Man, I just want to play this game through and unlock all this stuff. Probably need some golds. That's the game type room. Got a gold in there, didn't I? Choky City. Man, it's like I gotta do Mushroom Land to get first place or something. See, this company has got these classic games running like pro, like controls, everything, config, launcher, everything works perfectly. Except I must make a note that if I minimize this, it doesn't come back. You can't minimize the application unless you're running in windowed mode. I tried like 10 times. They gotta patch that. This game also just came out an hour ago, so... Yeah, it hasn't been patched yet, but I don't expect it to, unless a lot of people complain. Something to keep in mind. I don't know what these do, but I get them anyway. So some kind of squares there in the bottom left. Got a angry face. Probably one of these buttons will make me go fast or something. Okay, what did that unlock? Ooh, we can go in here. Got something. Tasty. I want to be tasty. What are the other names? Clock Wagon, Lush Bug, Bloop, Craven Color, and Tasty. Oh yeah, what's over here now? Some time trials? Sure. Oh, that level again. Oh, that was like game mode room. Holy smokes, what a maze this is. That's game type room. That is a volcano level. Probably racing alone because it's time trials. Velociano? I wish I had this game in 1998. Whoa, there goes my high score. Are you supposed to 
get that. A little bit sensitive with the controls here. But anyway, I'm sure you can see what this game's all about from what I've shown you here. I don't expect it to get a heck of a lot more exciting, but uh, maybe I can make a longer video later. This is already pretty long. Anyway, oh, what's this? Buggy Beach? Alright, we'll do Oh, I'm in stupid time trial mode. One more here. Buggy Beach. Cool. Well, uh, hopefully you've seen what you need to see here, and uh, have yourself a wonderful day. Alright, goodbye.